I'm here at the Kawaii Monster Cafe in Harajuku. This is one of the cafes that I've been really dying to go to because it's really pretty and colorful. And you guys know that I love my colorful stuff, so I'm excited for this. A couple of my friends have been there, so I've seen some videos about it, and the food looks crazy. <laughs> So as you're entering the cafe, they tell you that you're entering the stomach of a monster. And this is what it looks like inside. It's probably the most colorful place I've ever seen in my life. It felt like a theme park. It was really amazing. It costs 500 yen to get in, but um, at the end of your meal, they'll give you a member's card. And as long as you have that, you can get in for free next time. Each area of the cafe has a different theme. We are in the milk stand area. They have large, spacious seating so that you can bring like eight of your friends and sit comfortably. Even the chopsticks were colorful. I thought the menus were really cool. They were on an iPad, I think it was. They're all touch screen, so you can just scroll through the menu. And everything was in English as well as Japanese. The staff were really friendly and would come interact with you at the table, and they all spoke English as well. The foods were all super colorful as well. Uh, waffles, sandwiches, pasta, soups, even sushi, and some strange things like this chocolate chicken. <laughs> and of course they have lots of sweets like pancakes and sundaes, cupcakes. The drink menu is also very cool, lots of really like interactive drinks that you need to mix yourself. Lots of the foods come with these colorful sauces and I think what's cool is that they don't tell you what flavor they are so you kind of just try them all out and guess as you go. Kim really enjoyed the rainbow pasta. They also have french fries with the dipping sauces and I got the popcorn shrimp. They also have different menus depending on the seasons. There were some special Christmas items when we went. It's not like one of those cafes where it looks cool and then it tastes like crap, like their food's actually good, so that's nice. It's a nice change. I think the wasabi sauce is my favorite. The staff will do performances, I think it's every 40 minutes or so, so you can watch them while you're eating. And when they're all finished, you can go up and take pictures with the girls if you would like to. So each one of the icings had different flavors. This uh, reddish one on the end here tasted like cream cheese, orange tasted like orange, the green one tasted like banana for some reason, the blue one was mint, and then this purple one here tasted like cheese, like cheese cheese, not cream cheese, which was really strange. But overall it was pretty good, <laughs> it was really interesting anyways. They'll give you some souvenirs to take home with you, we got these super cute postcards. But before you leave, make sure you go check out the bathroom. Hands down, the coolest bathroom I've ever seen. It's so pretty, look at the tiles. My favorite part was probably the bouncy ball sink. This area here is the Mel Tea Room. It's really cute, they've got like colorful macarons up the side of the wall. 
and my favorite part was this chandelier. Can you see that? That's the prettiest thing I've ever seen. I really hope I can design my house to look like this in the future. And this is the bar area. You can sit down and just have some drinks at the bar if you like. good the food was good I was impressed with it uh, the parfait was a lot so we split it between the five of us and it was still a bit much to eat so if you get the parfait make sure you have a big group of people to share it with but um, yeah I was pretty impressed with that place it was yummy and colorful and lots of fun there was lots to see so get up and make sure you walk around the place and look at all the little different areas because they're all themed differently and yeah it's really fun so uh, if you guys want to come I will put the address down in the description bar so you can check it out it's uh, you get off at Harajuku station it's about a five minute walk or so to get down here it's really easy to find thanks for watching guys I'll see you soon bye